Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is an extra video for the week and I don't normally do that, but I was feeling excited to share it with you guys what I got from the Boxy Pop-Up store. And at the same time, I wanted to do a get to know me tag. I was tagged by one of my fellow YouTuber friends. Her name is Kate White and she has a YouTube channel here. So I'll link her channel in the description box below. Check her channel out. She's such a great YouTube friend and I really enjoyed getting to know her more through this whole uh, YouTube community. Let's get started with the unboxing. Okay, so I didn't buy a lot, I don't think, from Boxy Pop-Up. And you might be surprised because I didn't buy just makeup products. You know, Boxy Pop-Up happens every quarter, I believe. Some of the previous items that they've had in the past are greatly discounted, like 40 to 70% off. So it's like the perfect opportunity to really stock up on your um, BoxyCharm favorites. So as I show you some of the products that I got in my BoxyCharm pop-up, um, I'm also gonna go ahead and answer some of the get to know me tag questions along the way. So let's get started. The first thing that I got, and it's not makeup related at all, are these Teamy Matcha Green Tea. I'll put how much they originally cost and also how much I bought them for on the screen below, but I got them on a really good deal. So, um, but I was kind of underwhelmed by the size because when I saw it on the picture, it looked like a bigger tub of matcha green tea and i was planning on gifting this to someone that i know who loves tea um and so when i got this i was like this is like a deluxe size you know it's not really a full full size item so i am just gonna end up keeping this for myself i got two different types of flavors the blueberry and the mango so i can't wait to try these because i love matcha green teas i love tea in general and this one is grown and packaged in japan full of antioxidants used for um, cooking or drinking. So that's interesting. So I can't wait. I think between the two, I prefer the mango flavored one. So before I show you the next thing, let me answer the tag questions. Where are you from? I was born and raised in the Philippines. Hold on. You know what? I need to reapply my lipstick. Sorry guys, I just remembered because I just came from lunch. I came to the United States um, and lived permanently when I was 14 years old, but I've been back and forth. I came here when I was six years old. I stayed here for three years, and then um, we went back to the Philippines when I was eight, and then came back here when I was 14. So I have the best of both worlds. I was able to experience a big part of my life in the Philippines. A lot of my upbringing is really rooted from the Philippines. And now having lived here in the United States for, you know, a longer part of my life, um, it's kind of given me that modern twist. Here in the United States, I'm from California. I live in a town near Sacramento, California, and I've been here most of my life. Where did you meet your husband? I met him in the Philippines. We went to school together since third grade, and it's always a funny story that I like to say because he already liked me from third grade and he was already courting me since third grade and so um, it's kind of cute that I've known him for that long and the reason why um, you know I've known him for so long and really kept touched is because a big part of me my friends my cousins my relatives in the Philippines um, have been a big part of my life. And so whenever I went back home for vacation, I always made it a point to visit my friends. He was in our group of friends. And so that's kind of how we kept in touch. Next thing that I got in my box is this stainless steel stemless cup, which is good at keeping drinks cold for up to nine hours and keeping drinks hot for up to three hours. I didn't buy this for myself. Definitely gonna gift it to someone. And I love that it says, is it too early for wine? So that's what it says. It's so cute. It's nice and pink. It comes with a straw, reusable straw. 
very nice stainless steel okay next question how many children do you have i have two <laughs> like i had to think about it right <laughs> i have two kids uh what a boy and a girl yeah they are very very smart they definitely challenge me most of the time but i love them for that are you an empty nester what does that mean? Oh, an empty nester, that feeling of grief and loneliness parents feel when their children leave from home for the very first time. You know, my kids are young enough to where I haven't really thought about them leaving yet for college and everything. And the thing is, I really don't have a lot of friends. I'm really a homebody myself. I love staying home. My life is very simple. I don't go out a lot if i had to choose i'd be home all day um doing movie nights and family stuff with my children and so i think that if they leave i would definitely get bored <laughs> and hopefully i'll find a different hobby by then but actually youtube and makeup is my hobby right now next thing i got i'm so very excited about and this is actually the most expensive thing i've been eyeing this ever since it came out this is the kate somerville exfoliate my favorite exfoliator is dr brand it can be a little bit harsh for most people but i love it especially for my cystic acne i have a lot of skincare videos that talk about dr brand as my favorite and so definitely check those out i'll put them in the cards here in a sec kate somerville i've heard great things about it i never bought them because they're so expensive you know i think they're like 70 80 dollars just like dr brand actually um but dr brand has been in my subscription boxes and they've been on sale at ulta i believe and so i've had the opportunity to try it at a very discounted price and finally kate somerville was on the boxy pop-up definitely better than paying you know regular price i kind of wish that it was in a bigger tube but actually the dr brand full size is the same way i don't know if you can tell but mine's kind of squished like it's really dented in so i hope it's not used the tab is actually sealed and secured i'm sure this is brand new so i can't wait to try because i've heard great things and exfoliation is really a necessary step in my skincare routine i also have a skincare routine video that i just filmed um last week or two weeks ago depending on when you see this video go check it out it's a very detailed skincare routine that i think everyone will learn from i just am about to run out of the dr brand exfoliator so this is definitely going to be in rotation okay, let's go to the next question um what are your hobbies hobbies um growing up i used to love to read like i would read books so many books um but when i got married really got busy um my husband and i enjoy watching movies you could say youtube right now is my hobby what do you love more makeup or clothes definitely makeup um makeup makes me happy when products come in the mail i get so so excited i love clothes as well like i love to dress nice but i think i don't mind like being casual i don't have to be on trend all the time otherwise my day-to-day -day clothes are just very casual and normal <laughs> normal what <laughs> is normal right um but yeah i'm very laid back when it comes to clothing definitely i love makeup more than clothes clothes kind of stress me out because i want to dress a certain way but it's sometimes hard to find that perfect combination introvert or extrovert i'm definitely an introvert i keep to myself and it's so hard for me to really open up to anybody like they have to be a certain personality and that personality has to be super friendly before i can get comfortable um when i am surrounded by a bunch of strong personalities that's when i kind of like you know quiet down i'm not very sociable in fact i think i'm anti-social considering that i am in this social media world and i think that's why i'm so comfortable on video because i don't have to really see anyone in person this is kind of like my outlet too and just making friends 
I feel also like sometimes I can't relate to everybody out there. There's a lot of things that I can't relate to because of where I'm born and raised. I definitely am an introvert introvert until you get to know me then i'm more of an extrovert like i really am funny i really am fun to be with but if you don't know me i might look like a snob to you i might look like i'm un an unfriendly person but when you get to know me i really am the most loyal trustworthy person um that you could ever meet let's go to the next one because you guys kind of saw it i did buy a spawn gel B Bulgarian rose uh what is this a buffer so again this is something that I want to gift to someone I've tried this I actually gifted it to a lot of my relatives and even to my husband last Christmas um but I love these sponges from Spongel oh they smell so good I believe it has about 14 uses to them so place sponge underwater, squeeze to absorb water, and then massage it. it has that built-in soap, so it cleanses, and then at the same time, it exfoliates, and it has hydrating ingredients to just uh, hydrate the whole body. So I love using this, especially when my skin is a little dry and parched. I definitely use this in the shower. So I'm going to be gifting this to someone and this is such a nice little gift idea like a little small gift maybe to a co-worker or maybe even a teacher Next question what have been your past jobs definitely mcdonald's and i was laughing because kate who tagged me also worked at mcdonald's and um i worked at mcdonald's while i was putting myself through college i did tutoring for a while so i feel like teaching is really in my blood like i love teaching the big one is that i was an it consultant for the state for like a good seven to nine years so and then when i had my daughter i left that field because i didn't feel that i was happy but i remember having the greatest co-workers the greatest boss after that after my second um child i became a stay-at-home mom for a good seven to eight years now i work part-time as a paraeducator so that's what i'm doing okay next thing that i got is this cover effects blurring primer oh my gosh i love my cover effects um mattifying primer this one that has like that green line across and so i got this one because i wanted to try their blurring primer cover effects is such an expensive brand and i think i got this for like five or six dollars um so i was like yay i definitely want to try this or maybe put it in a giveaway but uh I don't want to put something in a giveaway that I haven't tried or I know I won't be able to use because of maybe if it's skincare and it's not for my skin type. But otherwise, oh, I kind of want to try it. Comment down below what you think about the blurring primer from Cover FX. Is it good for oily skin? Um, is it safe for acne prone skin? You know, let me know if you've tried this primer before so that will help me decide whether I should keep it or not. But I think this was originally $38 and I got it for five or six dollars. So what a steal. The next tag question, what is your favorite show and movie? I don't watch TV. <laughs> I really don't. Honestly, it's been a while. I still enjoy watching youtube videos so i want to say really the latest movie that i've watched is game of thrones that's the one that i really followed through and through oh i used to watch a lot of cooking shows too like food network i used to follow like giada bobby flay those were my two top faves when it comes to um food network and cooking so with the last thing in my box and this is the pericone md no rinse micellar cleansing treatment so reading about this it's like a makeup remover but also a um just a micellar water this is a pricey brand pericone md i've never really dived into this brand before but it was heavily discounted and it was on sale and it's micellar water if it was regular price i would never 
look at it but reading the ingredients list there's some pretty serious ingredients here so it's not just water if you know what i mean <laughs> So I can't wait to try that. Paracone MD. Okay, this is the last question. Um, something new about yourself. Really the newest adventure for me is this whole YouTube journey. It's had its ups and downs. I really want this channel to be like a learning channel because I feel like teaching has always been in my blood. It's funny because growing up, that's all I played. <laughs> my husband would joke around how I would play with all our neighbors in, in our small town and I would be the teacher and everybody was the student and I was such a strict teacher but that's what I did I played school so I think teaching is always in my blood and kind of my YouTube channel is evolving to more of a teaching channel where you can come here and actually learn something that's going to be useful of course it's going to be makeup related and skincare but i hope it's always going to be something valuable something that you learn from i can't wait to see what this whole journey brings so that is it guys just to recap i got the micellar water i got the cover fx blurring primer i got this wine glass this really cute to go wine glass um and then i got the spawn gel bath scrub kate somerville exfoliate and then the two matcha green tea in blueberry and mango flavor so that's what i got in my boxycharm pop-up box i hope you guys enjoyed this video got to know me more so that is it guys if you like this video and learned something please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to this channel i post videos once a week on skincare and makeup reviews hi guys future terry here so i totally forgot to tag my youtube friends on this get to know me tag so if you guys see this video i tag you and i'm gonna put your youtube handle in the description box below and i'll definitely see you guys back in my corner soon bye